Welcome everybody, this is your strategy wolf and welcome back to Victoria 3, our Japanese Empire in 1925 and we still got our old Emperor Meiji in charge. He's 73 right now um, and then we shall see how long he's still in charge and yeah. Uh, how is the current political situation? We managed to uh, pacify or placate in the last five years our trade unions a bit. However, they seem to be on a path of not liking us too much. And there is some kind of yeah women's rights uh, going on with some high support. Maybe, maybe this will lead us to another movement or another act there where we probably have to follow this to give women a little bit of um, yeah <laughs> rights since we still do have Considering it's 1925, we are still in the legal guardianship and they all they want is propertied women. So, yeah, it will annoy a couple of people, as you see. But I also will wait for a bit until this really, this demand is getting higher and higher. So, at the moment, I don't have a problem if they start revolution or, or anything like that. I will highly consider doing that. Um, yeah. I mean, just like, probably let's have a quick look actually at the international landscape of women's rights. Uh, propertied. 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 Okay, so the big powers. Yeah, and, and only the Russians. The other countries, Scandinavia, how does it look like here? The European countries all have propertied women. Wow, nobody really pushed uh, women's rights. Um, over here we do have... But the US also still have legal... Alright, interesting. That's surprising in Canada. Is nobody m more women rights than property women? That's... Uh, well, it is what it is, I guess. So, bad time for women in 1925 in this uh, world. Well, but maybe we'll follow the international lead and give women some... Uh, the, the Western lead, let's say, even if we are worldwide leader um, of um, yeah, women's rights, maybe this will happen. Uh, apart from this, what we are very interested in right now is to see how these Chinese markets going to develop over here in uh, in Queens, and like basically the, the Brits cut off the capital and the bigger areas to share with the highly populated uh, part of the Queen, and this leads to a market excess of 0% here and to a really low standard of living. I kind of expect some kind of okay here it's also very low either they construct their ports quick or i do expect them yeah they're still on it uh, expect a very massive drop over here and we already see that there's turmoil going on so we shall see where this leads to here in asia this is gonna be interesting we took over the philippines from the spaniards um we should actually and actually i see that our oh yeah the um truce expired so i'm actually thinking we should take over the rest of um the spanish empire over here at least it's, they are still our rivals right so let's see if we go and conquer mindanao which we have to do anyways just for the uh, maps clear up i would say um are italians not in an alliance anymore Nope, that's good to see. Look, as a Dominion of Italy. Okay, interesting. Um, no, the Spanish-Italian ties are broken, so we should basically just facing the Spaniards. So, giving that, I think we'll actually start off like finalizing this and go on a second attack for this one to go conquer the state. What? 32 infamy? Are you kidding me? Didn't it just say... Oh, uh, mis misread, probably. Wow, 32 infamy, that's a lot, leads us to, uh, yeah, 32 is like, 37, 47, closely below uh, 50, and transferring the subject of Bhutan, 21, um, there are a dominion, well, 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 um, so we have, what did we say, 20, Transfer subject 21 plus. Uh, so we are above 50. So basically, okay, this will lead me to waiting until zero. And then I'll attack the Spaniards again. Um, we're still looking if we can make these states here in Southeast Asia to our protectorate. Since Burma actually agreed. Um, yeah. And then we shall see. I think we can just jump in and get going. 
we do have to have a look on our uh, deficit since the income is still uh, we have problems a little bit in the moment we're taking a deficit since we massively expanded also our after taking good care of it really last years we decided that we want to push off our economy once again and build a lot of construction um, offices yeah to basically to handle also the turmoil here in japan since we need to create some jobs and yeah now we are expanding rice farms well that's fine since we also wanted to lower the grain price and max them out a little bit um well, it's getting cheaper and cheaper so this was one of the other measures but yeah our diplomatic also the payments of course dropped just getting 8k buff from the philippines as a yeah we want to pay you back philippines and give you basically the southern part of course now the our deficit is increasing when looking and talking about it let's not look to look too much at some point we will be able to get there i'm quite positive insufficient taxation capacity yeah we're still are they already in order nope here they are in order we still need to get rid of the deficit so we have a better here we waste at the moment at least 113k let's say if we probably were at this level we would realize all the taxes then we'd be fine all right um What, uh, okay, let's have a look. Uh, the, the time of communist revolutions is ongoing West Ancone, probably in Africa. Yeah, okay. No surprise I didn't know this country. I'm sorry, proud Anconians, but probably mispronounced it again. Communist Parma, okay. Communist Sax Saxon mining in. So it looks like communism or socialism is on the rise worldwide. We constantly also that's something we observed in the last episodes. Constant revolts everywhere here and there. Oh, here and there at least. Well, well, well. At least we have a lot of influence these days, so we have a lot of infamy decay also. Um, we were working on the Persians a little bit also, since we went into a defensive pact with them. We're not into a defensive pact with... Oh, Dainam, we have an alliance. That's new, true. Didn't we want to get into defensive pact with uh, Persia to... Did they end it? I will not give them the obligation. It's just improve relations with Persia a bit, so maybe we will end up there. Ah, uh, yeah, and we are um, lowering our relations with the Koreans. Um, we forgot since uh, I realized that there was this uh, revolt over here that Joseon, apart from developing nicely, doesn't make use of the coal mines they have. And since coal is despite a war for Manchuria and the massive expansion of the, I think, Liayong, Liayuan coal mines over here. Um, still expensive good in the Japanese um, yeah, market so it is a problem and we have to face it basically I promise this to you for the last time and I think we're gonna go in a second probably the problem is electricity is also very expensive still um, we wanted to switch a little bit towards electricity wherever we can mm, let's nevertheless get some more power plants here we still have in Kansai so many unemployed and potential Let's build our big power plants over here. <laughs> Crazy. And maybe just to num make the numbers even, I'm happy to expand them also a little bit. I mean, of course, the um, Shubi also has one. Yeah, here you get level 10 power plants each. Um, however, the thing is, of course, we're currently running coal power plants, so they will use them. Um... Question is that Greek secession? Get uh, this. Oh, French port, okay. Um, Greek uprising, hello, hello, hello. Oh, on Cyprus, interesting. This is sometimes. I don't know how 
this is something I constantly keep on talking about how um, the game could de develop or develop. And I feel like this is something, for example, um, yeah, in this case, well, if Cyprus goes for independence, why do they not cooperate with Greece? In, the, in other games, I've seen like two different Greeces or Serbian uprisings next to Serbians or something like this, especially in the Balkans. It would be nice if there's some coherent play within like uprisings and the corresponding states. But well, it, it was it is it is what it is right now. So actually, we're gonna be neutral in this conflict. I don't care too much. Um, and once again, I got distracted. Of course, let's have a look at the coal and electricity situation. We do have, I think, a couple of gas-fired city lights still. This is an, a way where we can probably go towards... Oh, here these... I think public motor carriages. Transportation goes up, okay. Oh, it saves laborers. I don't want to do this already. Anyways, we could go this way, which leads to a higher electricity demand and lower coal. And I think I will do that, for sh but we already switched in a couple of places to electric street rides. So basically just in the colonies we didn't, okay. Nevertheless, oh. Okay, and these ones don't have any street lights. Well, okay, colonies, you profit from the Japanese expansion, so less stuff to talk about actually than I thought. Uh, what we can do for sure is also... An electrical street light everywhere. Get it out, get it out. All right, this sh uh, sh actually could have changed over here, of course. Um, okay, furthermore, what can we do over here? We could switch from steam engines to electricity engines, which will provide us more engines, which is probably quite nice. Um, but doesn't save up coal, I just realized, because these ones just consume steel. All right. Okay, here we just get more engines in the end. Which is, I guess, fine. And... We have not so cheap engines, so this is a good move. And most of them are anyways already running on... Steam engines. Oh, here, Chuguku is gonna be a massive one. Nevertheless, let's go for electrical engines. Okay, I think we are already the motor industry is running in this way. And... A bigger one, a bigger sphere of influence, I think it's gonna be this one, electrical trains. I could potentially, yeah, the coal price is going, let's do this as long as we save money according to this, um, you know, here, this the, the, the prediction up here. Um, I mean, the electricity price is going up as well, but actually, come on guys, we're gonna switch fully. Yes, let's switch, switch fully to electric trains. Also creates jobs, clerks. How come this? Uh, let's switch fully to electrical trains and see how this affects um, our coal and electricity price situation. Ah, electricity overtook in at, at least something. Still coal, super expensive, of course. Um, tools, oh god. Is there anything we can do about the tools? Still not, but maybe we should also then get some more tools out. In the place we have lots of unemployment. Oh, let's even out the numbers. Like Are we really working on some of these? It's a little bit of a weird fetish that I even it out, but I guess a lot of people do it like that, actually. Tanto, I can quit some. And I feel like there's another thing going on where we might be able to save some coal. It's here at the ports. We do have uh, the modern port versus the industrial port. Which replaces, yeah, it replaces oil by coal. So let's start with this. Get the Kanto, the modern ports. Oh, the only problem is we also lose a lot of employment. So I don't want to do it in the ones where I just already have the unemployment pro problem. So 
let's maybe do it with the ones that are actually doing kind of fine. It is expensive, but Kanto, Chubu, Kansai, Kanto maybe I could do it. And it's, it's our capital, so I think I should do it nevertheless. But the others down here... I mean, this is the... Oh, actually this, this affected us quite heavily. The pre predictions are bad, you know, the price predictions, but nevertheless, I feel like I'm also helping the um, entire com economy that is still partially built on Sakhalin. Also, yeah, you guys can also save up some, some workforce. It's quite ex important, actually, over here. Yeah, it's, but still do it slowly. You're really modern pot. Yeah, it's also a bit about saving some money for the industry since the coal price went down and uh, oil price went up. It's all a little bit problematic. Can we actually import some tobacco? Oh, yeah. Since this is expensive. Uh, um, America, Germany, Spain. All right. Ah, oh, come on. From the Mexicans also a little bit. And the Egyptian can give us some tobacco as well. Since tobacco, I think we can't really build any new plantations anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and for most, okay, let's max that out, of course. And yeah, let's get, get going. Um, of course, in the short term, we once again... <laughs> did not really profit on our... Here, our money problem didn't get solved at all. Uh, yeah, but it saved a little bit of coal demand while the oil demand went up, of course, which is, yeah, you can think what you th want to think. At least we have some more capacity to ex No, we don't, because we already put this in out there to maximize. Well, well, well. At least the ir iron problem or the iron supply has been taken care of a little bit as well. Well, just the demands are quite high these days. And since our industry is growing, I feel like the demand is not going to go down so fast either. <laughs> All right. Um. How is Formosa doing in terms of turmoil? Oh, this is what this is why it's taking so long. Maybe we can get something out. Manufacturing resource in resource industry in Kyushu. Like this is outdated anyways. This has been there forever. I mean the coal mines are not small, but yeah, this is so much industry over here right now, so I'm gonna cancel this. The Heavenly Kingdom wants a defensive pact. And since we have the trade agreement as the only ones apart from the Chinese, I'm kind of a fan. Let's protect them, yes. I don't still don't want them in the trade union, the customs unions. But Belgium and another revolution, they constantly have revolutions ongoing. Uh, where was I? <laughs> Just... A second ago, I want, exactly, I saved up the authority here so I can do some violent suppression, which should speed up here the, uh, the works in Formosa because the turmoil goes down. Apart from this, I'm also gonna put some of these rice farms rather in the in, in the end. Now they want to join also our customs union. And once again, no, I don't care too much. And we have a UA. So, no. And another time we have here a potential secession going on. You know what, then I'd rather go over here. And we had already this, this, the, the attempts to get loose from us. And I'd rather do the violent suppression over here. I don't know if this will... If turmoil is lower, then 50% progress will be reduced. States with more. It's about the total turmoil, not about the. I feel like I can't really do stuff about it, to be honest. 
I built you so many farms and now you don't appreciate that. That's quite an insult. Um, yeah, so it looks like we're gonna lose this once again for a little bit at least. Uh, but I don't know what we can do about it. It's not based... As I'm pretty sure the turmoil here is coming from... Radical Pops. And why are they radical? You wait. Why are they radical? Because they have a low standard of living. Okay. Hey, you're working. Oh, they're starving. Alright. This is surprising. The food price is so high? Yeah, of First and foremost, they are definitely um, discriminated. So I'm pretty sure, even following here, the, the the wishes from the from the trade unions will not really help us. Uh, boiler explosion in the Hawaiian Islands. Um, <laughs> machines are dangerous. Is there anybody that we really want to support? Still the price of progress that already calls in Hawaii, I don't care too much for. Yeah, I I mean I could check it out for a second. Uh, what would happen if I follow the international or the the demands and go for propertied women? It will definitely And this one also I don't trust fully because sometimes we do have a higher like you know they have plus twenty. Are they plus twenty or are they plus something? Because sometimes it's really high up, you know? Can I really... Is there a strict total approval plus 10 capped from actual value of 22? Ah, here it is, okay. And here we have an actual value of 44. Okay, this is so absolutely no problem over here. So if we... 44? What the hell? So if I'd go and give them some rights, the women. The intelligentsia would probably not drop under 10, but the Zybats will. But they're not radical. Let's have a, let's sorry guys. Let's have once again a look into the certain pops. What makes them so radical? <laughs> I mean, they're so poor, but they're Protestant in UA. Radicals. Where is the radicalism coming from? Overview: laborers, acceptance, total. Ooh, very hard to tell. When we consume clothes and tobacco could be cheaper. Already worked on the tobacco a bit. I'm pretty sure it's more their nationalism than anything else. And yeah, no, as long as there's no revolution in Japan, of course, this annoying little possession over here is gonna destroy stuff once again, especially they because they're gonna have a uh, where is it? Oh, it hasn't turned into a... It has seceded. There we go. Um, so we do have... Or oh, even the Vietnamese are gonna help out here. So we do have this uprising. They have this very... US state for a short time again. Um, the problem is probably that... They're gonna kill some of the production sector, construction sectors, so or something like this. Since they have to save money, they can't, like, the market can't provide all these things. Let's hope they don't dismantle all their the buildings, their agricultural buildings. And let's have a quick look since they dropped out. Like, yeah, the die price exploded quickly. Um, since can I see it in the graph, please? Since yeah. Oh yeah, there you see this quickly jumped up the die price. Um, this is a wonderful explanation to see how this game works. Since we have 71 die farms here, uh, die plantations. So this will give us a shock, definitely a short economic one. The grain price also went up. Fruit, you see a lot of these uh, silk went up. A lot of these raw materials that we were uh, obtaining from this area. So it's absolutely relevant for us. But what will we do? Uh, shall we do about it? The Quasimid state. Uh, I couldn't care less. 
I mean, I could potentially consider releasing Yue as a here as a subject or something, so they have their uh, at least their acceptation, cultural, or uh, not going to be discriminated. But at the same time, kind of don't want to. <laughs> Well, 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 um... Okay, we're still explaining something in New Guinea. This, all these things take so long, guys. We have such a turmoil over there as well. Nope, not at all, okay. Are we, are we building here? Not really. Oh, just the one, okay. And it seems to be the normal construction time, I guess, since there is no problems as far as I see. Gosh, but our income is going down and down and down. Yeah, this comes doesn't come at the right time. And maybe we have to act accordingly and take these emergency reliefs out. So, oh yeah. This saves us actually a lot of money already. Oh wow, by the way, uh, talking about emergency relief, there is no turmoil over here anymore. We're missing some taxation capacity, which we'll take care of, but... Uh, the turmoil is gone. Is gone. Um, maybe due to, due to the emergency reliefs, yet it's still here. Um, the only spot in Japan, not the only spot, would be absolutely wrong. Oh no. But the one with massive term to Huku has the terminal as well. But that's kind of it. Um, yeah, well, what's the result? Uh, what, what do we want to do with this extra? I think I need to... Actually, we need 200. Um, I will do what I tried to avoid at first. I'll get relieved the liquor tax. People start... Drinking more, please, and I'll tax tea. Which is obviously people won't like this, but we need to get our cons and oh god, where's these? Did we have so many uh, government buildings? Uh, we don't want to run bankrupt due to this, these things. And the war is broken out, and now you wonder if I, why I didn't um, start anything yet. It's due to the fact that I can't plan a naval invasion prior to the outbreak of the war. Another thing that I have complained already about. I feel like by the end of this, we're running through the last 10 years already, by the way. It's 26, and I start complaining more and more, uh, despite the fact that I'm having still a blast here in a great game, in my opinion. So... Don't get me wrong, I still like the game a lot, but of course I would have, I would like to propose some room for an improvement, let's say. Let's finish them off quickly, I think this shouldn't, this rebellion shouldn't be a big deal. I just wonder where these extra bureaucracies suddenly always coming in, uh, coming from. Brazilian Dutch rivalry, blah 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 blah. Venezuela wanted to become, or Germany wanted to make them a protectorate, very interesting. Why can't I put make them as a protectorate? Ah, because we are at war. Okay, they're fighting on, on our side. That's why. Alright, when is the invasion coming? 13 days. And a lot of other the revolutions going on as we or his Egyptian claims. Makran, oh, the world is turning upside down. They will be blasting quickly away their fleet. Are they actually already reducing everything down here? Yeah, as you see, they reduced the construction sector heavily. Uh, the rice farms are still there. I'm surprised they even changed. They didn't change the production method, despite the fact they don't have fertilizers at all. Um, but did they increase the conscription centers or something like this? This is something as conscription centers is something else than barracks, of course. But you see here the infrastructure has re reduced a lot. Oh! 
Alright. I thought this would be a quick... We can end this very quickly, but looks like we need to actually... Invite with a bigger crew. Ooh. Okay, then we bring... So this will cost us again more money, of course. But since this one is uh, kind of failing... I didn't expect them to withstand the invasion, but apparently they have somehow halfway professional soldiers or technologically okay soldiers. Well, 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 the UA. If this is a reoccurring thing and they have another revolution after we beat this one down upcoming, I would definitely consider probably releasing them as a um, subject or something. Let me know what you think, what makes sense, because I feel like it is fully built out and yeah, you know, I can't do so much more, so apparently when they not discriminated, it's probably a nice thing, but we will see. So actually, we will not beat them down now quickly, I think, um, because this is a good timing now for the end of this show. We have going to have a quick cliffhanger how Meiji is going to take this revolution or this uprising. Uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Let me know what you think. Shall I um, release them as a subject or if I can even? I don't know by this moment. Um, yeah, let me know. And if you liked it, please leave me a like and a subscription. If you haven't yet, it helps the channel a lot and motivates me while it doesn't cost you anything. So thank you at this point. And apart from this, see you next time. Bye. Your Strategy Wolf.